Hello, this is Vic. Welcome to my channel and thank you for viewing my videos. Today I am in the beautiful island of Saipan here in the northern Marianas Islands. And I'm inside a very, very historic, very significant place. I'm inside what is called the last Japanese command post. This is such a historic site that I need to review it with you, review the history of it before we go ahead and uh, take a tour of this uh, magnificent place. The Japanese were given Saipan and the Northern Marianas Islands after the end of the First World War. They were supposed to administer the islands until they became independent. Between 1918 and 1944, when the Americans invaded the island in June of 1944, the Japanese invested a tremendous amount of time and effort and especially money to improve the life here in Saipan. And they did a fantastic job creating uh, hospitals and schools, building roads, sugar factories, and even a train track that went around the whole island. On December 7th of 1941, as you know, Japan attacked the U.S. fleet in Pearl Harbor, and as of December 8th of 1941, a state of war existed between the two countries. Now, after Pearl Harbor, the Americans, of course, suffered quite a few setbacks as far as the war in the Pacific is concerned. A couple of examples are the loss of the Philippines and, of course, the loss of Guam, which is about 120 miles directly south from Saipan. However, after the huge battle of the Midway, the U.S. emerged as the victor and the tide of the war was turning towards the favor of the Americans. By 1944, the Americans were ready for full attack. And one of the first amphibious assaults that they engaged in was here in Saipan on June 15th, 1944. The Battle of Saipan lasted from June 15th of 1944 up to July 9th of uh, the same year. During the first couple of weeks, the Americans defeated the Japanese and they pushed the whole Japanese army along with a huge crowd of Japanese citizens up to the top one-third of the island. That's where Banzai Cliff is located today. And that's why there is this uh, command post called the Last Japanese Command Post. So you can imagine the activity that must have taken place at the command post around July 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th and 8th of 1944. In there, it must have been the Lieutenant General Saito who was in charge of the Japanese forces here with all his officers right in their room screaming giving orders there must have been maps all over the place and they must have been thinking very hard how to get out of this difficult predicament how to break through the American forces the American lines and this is why this is such a historic place this is the last Japanese post command post here in Saipan it's a very historic place and I want to give you a tour of that place. Now there's also another video that deals with the suicides on Banzai Cliff because after the uh, command post was taken, the Japanese forces moved either, even more to the north towards Banzai Cliff, which is only a kilometer away, and the Japanese uh, army would not give up. and. Uh, they, along with their families, decided to jump off the cliff and over 8,000 people, Japanese people, jumped off the cliffs to their deaths. But that's another subject. Let's explore now the last Japanese command post and let's learn a little bit how it's built and what happened in there. Let's go. Now the last command post is up there where you see a space between the two parts of the huge rock. If we were to walk around the rock, we'll see a few steps here. We're going to go up and we're going to go inside the rock. There is a cave, a fortified cave with concrete. We'll see that. And that's where the last command post was established by the Japanese. 
before losing Saipan altogether on July 9th of 1944. Let's go up the steps and let's see what's up there. Here's the uh, opening. Here's a view of the rock formation just outside. These are the steps I took to come up here, right there. So I'm about 20 meters off the ground here. Let's go through the opening and go into the actual post. There is a 8 meter tunnel here. You can see it has been dug through the rock. And here's the actual area. This is the last command post of the Japanese forces in Saipan. Now one thing that becomes extremely obvious once you get here is the signs of a big battle. You can see this hole here, which has been opened up from uh, outside, a direct hit. But let's look at the uh, structure inside. You can see it's all concrete right there. That's the rock. So it has been built behind a big rock. Here's a concrete column supporting the concrete ceiling and roof right there. But there are signs of the battle everywhere over here if you look carefully. Here's the hole that was opened from the outside so a shell or a rocket came through right there. Here's another opening another direct hit. You can see signs everywhere. You can see that something has exploded here. Two of them or three of them. You can see the holes in the wall. So a direct battle took place right in here. It must have been around July 6th to July 9th. And you can imagine General Saito the general of the Japanese forces being here commanding the last operations of his army. What a historical place. You can see here the main door has been uh, attacked as well. Right there. Let's go outside. Let's get a view of it from outside. You can see the hit right there that I was uh, mentioning, right there, the big wall, the big hole on the wall right there. This is most likely a machine gun opening right there for, for defense. Let's go back in. Here's the outside wall. You can see more signs of the battle right there. This is it guys, this is the last command post of the Japanese army. Between 6th to 9th of July 1944. What a historical place. Look at it. So you can imagine all the uh, Japanese generals and the officers with maps all over, desperately trying to find a way out of this predicament. And of course, the result of all this was that uh, they all moved towards Banzai Cliff, which is not far from here. It's about uh, a kilometer away, and most of them ended up committing suicide by jumping off the cliff, which is the subject of a different video. Here's another view of it.
Now, one of the questions that you may ask is, if the Americans landed on June 15th of 1944, and this uh, command post was used around the 5th or 6th of July of 1944, in other words, three weeks after the Americans invaded Saipan, when was this built? The Japanese certainly did not have time to build it after uh, June 15th of 1944. In other words, this command post was built far before the Americans landed on the island, and it must have been part of the Japanese plan for defending the island. In other words, they built this uh, command post way before 1944, and it was in their plans, if everything went wrong, to withdraw up to this point and use this place as the last command post. How interesting, how spectacular, how historic everything is here. Now, just behind the last Japanese command post is another remarkable historical site and that is what is known now as the Suicide Hill because that's where hundreds of people fell to their deaths as the Americans were advancing up here to take over and to eliminate the last Japanese command post hundreds of people climbed out on top of the Suicide Hill and fell to their deaths and that's because they were afraid that if they were caught by the Americans, they would be tortured, killed, raped. In other words, they would be very, very mistreated. And I'm going to give you a very quick view of the uh, suicide hill just before the command post. Now, view in my channel the, uh, the video under the title of Banzai Cliff. You're going to find it on my channel. And there I can give you more details about this very dark chapter of the war in the Pacific Ocean and what happened at Banzai Cliff along the Suicide Cliff over here. This is Vic. I hope you enjoyed what you've seen. And here's a quick view of Suicide Hill behind the command post. The last Japanese command post is just to my right, about 10 meters away. And right behind it, you see this sheer cliff. Eight 100 feet in height, almost 300 meters, and right from the tip, right up there, is where hundreds of people fell to their deaths. The majority of the people committed suicide at Banzai Cliff, and that's why I have dedicated a whole documentary of Banzai Cliff, but I wanted to show you Suicide Cliff as well, and combine that with the last Japanese command post, you can imagine, actually you cannot imagine what was happening here around July 5th and 6th of uh, 1944 as the Japanese were trying desperately to push the Americans back and uh, meeting inside the uh, last Japanese command post and people committing suicide right behind them, over the cliff right there. It is an absolutely incredible dark chapter of the history of uh, Second World War and the war in the Pacific. What's going on here during those uh, desperate days of July of 1944? This is Vic, thank you for watching this uh, documentary. Bye-bye.